Hot damn, we got more parts. We got more parts than Dolly Parton. <laughs> Shut up. That wasn't even funny. Got more parts and Carter's got pills. That's what old people say. Alright, so these sway bar links are directional, which means there's a left and a right. So you would think it would say on here, since I ordered both left or right, but I mean, maybe I'm just reading too fast. I just looked this number up. This one's a 1.7, this one's a 1.6. So one's going to be left, one's going to be right. We want to make sure we get those correct. So yeah, let's make sure we get these right, get them on. Alright, the K90717 is the right rear. The 1.6 is the left rear. So, uh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and start on the passenger side. Jack it up, pull this big ass wheel off, and uh, throw this sway bar link on. Boom. All right, so that little guy that I'm touching right here is the rear sway bar link. Not very big, <clears throat> but I do feel a little bit of a sway back here when I hit bumps and stuff like that. And as you see, I've already replaced the rear shocks, KYB, not confused with the jelly. So yeah, we got the new shocks on. We're going to go ahead and throw this little uh, arm on here, sway bar link. They're a little bit of a pain sometimes, so we're gonna squirt it down with some some penetrating lube, not some KY, and uh, let it sit for a second, and we'll be right back. All right, I know it's hard to see, but I'm gonna try to try. Uh, I don't think so. Just try to get some of the rust off of this. Let's try. y'all out of the way and come in this way. Oh, that's going to eat up our brake line. Alright, well. Got some of it. Now we need a wrench and some Allen wrenches. Alright, so we're going to take this little Dremel. Try to clean it up. Just a little wire wheel. Try to get more rust off of the bolt there. That should be gravy. That should be better. A little bit of <sighs> gravy. I lost my light some damn where. All right. So it's a uh, 14 millimeter. Alan has to fit snug. You ain't doing it right. Oh. Let's get a regular 17. I don't want to break the ratchet. Okay. I'm a little slow. in the way put a bigger wrench on the end here and just uh, hit it a couple times she's moving now that's what I'm talking about we ain't even having no issues binding up oh there it goes now we are spoke too soon spoke too soon <laughs> That back in there. <clears throat> K 
guess you can't tell what I'm doing. Can you see? Hey, she's coming, that's all that matters. All right, uno mas. All right, there's one. Just got one. Let's see if you can see it. Right there. How's that? Well, let's take our drill and clean it up a little bit. I think we can get to it. I hope. Well, we got half of it with the drill. Dremel. Bam! We need our tools. We need 14 millimeter impact, and I'm just gonna ugga dugga it to death. Uh. Uh. I say there should be no reason it shouldn't come off <sighs> since we, uh, Grinded all the rust and everything off. <laughs> yep, you see this correctly. Lazy guy here. Son. Yes, I know. I'm lazy. But it fucking worked. That's genius. Oh well. Alright. Oh well, you know. She's definitely movable. So this new guy doesn't require you using no Allen in the end, it's got a nut right here, so yeah, it's a lot nicer. Plus, these are a lot harder and they have grease feet. Can you see? You can't even see, man. All right, we're gonna drop this one on first. And the bottom one, we're going to have to jack up on it.
Ow. Let's do one more. Ain't no fourteen. New ones are <laughs> fifteen millimeters. And the big one is bigger than seventeen. Smaller than twenty two. Looks like we're using adjustable. That's too wide. That looks like a 19. Let me go get like a 19. Grab the 19 and a 21. Hopefully it's one of these. 19. There's the top. Oh, we just lost our light. Let's go plug that up. All right. Let's try this again. So this obviously. That one's on there. So we got new sway bar links. And we are done over here. Now we just need to do the same thing on the other side. Not too shabby. All right, we're going to start this one the same way with some lubricant. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's try to get some rust off of this bucket. detail there all right so we're gonna start with 14 millimeter with an extension and back you up so you can see oh there it goes do it one more for good measure So here. 
Oh, where is it? I'm telling you, cleaning that rust off them threads makes this a job a whole lot better. Let's throw a 14 on the impactor. Break the bottom one halfway off. We got the uh, passenger side top done. We just got to do the bottom now. Just jack up the bottom. Put the wheel back on. Alright. Alright, so we took it on a little test drive. I think that uh, the back's fixed, basically. When I was driving this thing, you grab the steering wheel and you go left, right, left, right, left, right. And the back end, you could just look out the rear view and watch the rear end just shimmy, shake, or, you know, feel like it's floating left, right. So horrible. So I put rear shocks on it and rear sway bar links. It's driving better now. Trust me.